the talk right now is that Olori Naomi, ex-wife of Oni of Ife, is about to settle down with a man that he had known before. I'm sure you want to hear this gist. Like, share this video. Tap on the subscription button and also encourage us by tapping on that thanks. You see, super thanks. You can donate through that to us. It helps and encourages us a lot. For a while now, Naomi has gone off radar. It is on your FIFA with his continuous marriage to several women. He said he had been avoiding this for a long time and he just had to do it. Oracle said, before you can get out of this problem, you need to marry more women. You need to be polygamous. You cannot be a man with one woman. It will not work. Women will do what? Run away from you, disgrace you, embarrass you, and do a lot. Well, I'm sure that prophetess, evangelist, Naomi knows about this. She can see. We see her display prophetic gifts. She sees visions. She says she hears. She delivers. You know, there are a lot of things that she says she does. She probably must have known about this thing before stepping into that marriage. She thought she had the power or she had the ability or the gift to weigh the storm. That thing in the life of Onyo Fife. But at the end of the day, she could not why for one reason or the other we heard that the king maltreated her the king did this and that all of these things are joined together you know every of these things work together if the oracle the ancestral spirit or whatever says this man must marry more women whoever comes into the life of this person even if the person wants to help out the person like on your fifa will not be willing now, some say she came into that marriage because of greed. She wanted the king to build her a big, mega church. She thought she could. Whatever. Let us leave that. Let us go to the crux of the matter. Now, you see, Naomi used to be with a guy. He's not even a guy. He's not just a guy. He's a prince. The prince of Ubo kingdom. In Ondo State, Naomi is from Ekiti State. Both of them are close to each other. I'm talking about the son of Oba Obateru Akiroton. is the monarch of Ubo Kingdom, Ondo State. Now, you'll be wondering what I'm saying. If you remember back then, a popular prophet, Tibetan, said, This Naomi and called her a very derogatory name said this naomi used to be with my brother's son all of a sudden she decided to leave him to marry onyo fife in fact in his prediction book he said onyo fife's life marriage i mean that part of his life was scatter everywhere with he said a lot of things and not until Naomi left. A lot of people thought that uh, the prophet was just ranting. Well, as it is, you'll be wondering why Naomi could not marry that young prince. They were literally close to the same age. Not like that of Onyo Fife. I'm not saying the age really makes any difference. But I'm saying they probably could have married. But then, but then, what happened? The reason is this. According to history, Ubo people of Ondo state cannot marry fair complected, fair in complexion women. This is not a joke. It is even on Punch newspaper. Why Ubo people do not marry, don't marry ladies fair in complexion. This is coming from Oba Olubo of Ubo. The story goes as far as uh, Moremi and many other stories, you know, they said Moremi betrayed them, this person betrayed them, and many other things betrayed them, and that is the reason why they made it a law that they cannot marry fair in complexion women. 
and maybe they've made it like a covenant and um, they, they, they've made it, you know, like, you know what I mean? Now, before I proceed, for those who have been saying Naomi came into that house because of money, well, it could be po- possible that she needed somebody who has the wealth, who has money. Ugo, I'm talking of Oba, Akinruton, is rich. I'm talking of a man who sits on oil contract on those states where he's from the land that is oba and king come on this man is rich in fact he possibly might be the first richest king followed by onyo fife because they said onyo fife is also into um, the resources in his own part um, of the kingdom he's also into it now what is this about you might want to know well, according to the king, and that is why people are saying it will be difficult for Oba Akiruton and his family and his kingdom to truly accept Naomi. It is just not possible. They cannot accept her. Because uh, if things had worked between both of them, if, 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 the, if the king had accepted, maybe both of them would be married, but because of one thing or the other, he, he, he's saying to her, you know, we cannot marry fair complexed, fair in complexion women. There, there is nothing I can do. My father is against it. He said it's a taboo that we cannot do it. This will happen. Probably Naomi was saying to her, to him then, don't worry, the grace of God will come. And, she, and he's like, ah, that's your grace. It's not enough. Somehow, according to the story that we heard, the priest knows on your affair. Introduce Naomi to Onyo Fife and Onyo Fife winked at her and said, don't worry, your boyfriend told me everything that this and this is this in their kingdom. I care less about the skin color that you have. You can come over and I will make you one of the Oloris or better still, the main Olori." That will be going in and out with me. And this is how it all happened. And that is what prompted uh, Prophet Tibetan saying she is this, she is that, she is a wayward woman. And she did this and ran away from my brother. The prophet did not come up with this history that is known by everybody. I mean the law that has been placed on that land. Now many people must have read about Moremi episode, the story. The Ubus, according to the history that we know, raided Ife many times. So they consulted Ifa and Osai. Osai, for solution, the oracle told them to put a beautiful lady in the market and they put Moremi there, who later betrayed the Ubu people. This is why she is never celebrated in Ubu. They say they see her as a betrayer, someone who leaked their secret, the Ubu secret to Ife. That is another reason why Ugo people do not marry ladies who are fair in complexion. They see such women as another Moremi. They believe that Moremi is a traitor even though they wanted to use her. Well, they believe that Naomi will be a traitor and a betrayer. They believe that Moremi deceived and leaked their secret to Ife. And Naomi betrayed According to the story, betrayed the prince, even though the prince wasn't ready to marry her. According to the policy, the law, and the rules of their land, she had to move on with life. Now, can you see the very complex web? She was dating the prince, the prince of Ubo kingdom. And they have laws that they do not marry fair complexion women. Fair complexed. Okay, now, Naomi now left Ubo and went to Ife. Can you see the connection? This life is very deep. Why didn't Naomi look for some other man or maybe live her life, face a ministry? Why is there that connection of Ubo and Ife in her life? Of course, she did not have a child for the prince of Ubo but both of them were in a relationship. Everyone thought they were going to marry. Back then, nobody really knew Naomi. Not until she came into the life 
of Oni of Ife. That is where the popularity and the fame came into it. Although everything has died down now because she had to leave that family, she had to leave that kingdom, go on with her life. But if you look at this story together, if you look at everything, you realize that this life is so deep. At times, history do repeat itself. Now that Naomi is free, she said it several times, she said right now she is open for the market, she is free to mingle, she has got nothing attached to her, marriage with the king is broken, divorce, everything settled. Where is she going to? Is she going to get married to one pastor, prophet or bishop or some? Who is she going to get married to that is ready to take that, con- that contract of herself and that of Oni of Ife? Well, maybe another king, another prince will be ready to say, you know what, we were both together before. Is this going to break that law in Uboland? Because it's so strange. Nobody in Uboland marries fair in complexion women. That is why you will see certain people being told, you, you cannot marry fair in complexion people. You cannot marry fair, you know, laws and rules like that. Well, I don't know what your thoughts are about this. Because uh, the king was even asked. They said, Is Moremi not the link between Ubo and Ife culture? The king replied, He said, We had our sons in Ife. We had about seven quarters in Ife. So we did not rely on her. The two markets in Ife, Oja Ife and Oja Ayegbagun, belong to my great great grandfathers, Oba Makin, Oson Gongo, and Ora Ife. The Aje of Ife belongs to our house. When you get to Ife, ask for Okeremo and Ile Eiro. You will see our people there. We did not need to rely on Moremi. She's a betrayer. Now, do you see the connection? Do you see the story? These story are interwoven together. Now, will the kingdom of Ubo, I'm talking about Ubo, land in Ondo State, will they close their eyes now and accept Naomi or not? That is the question. That is the bone of contention. I don't know what your thoughts are as regards this one. Drop it in the comment section. Like and share. Subscribe to this channel.